Ever wondered if a sport pilot with just a driver's license for a medical certificate could hop into a classic Cessna 172 and soar through the skies? It sounds like a dream for aviation enthusiasts who crave the freedom of flight without the hefty requirements of a private pilot's license. Enter Mosaic Modernization of Special Airworthiness Certificates, a proposed FAA rule change that's got the general aviation community buzzing with excitement. But what exactly is Mosaic, and does it really mean sport pilots can take the controls of a Cessna 172? Buckle up, because we're diving into this game-changing proposal with enthusiasm, clarity, and a touch of fun. What is Mosaic, and why should you care? Imagine a world where flying is more accessible, where the skies are open to more pilots without the need for exhaustive training or complex medical certifications. That's the heart of Mosaic, a set of proposed FAA regulations unveiled in July 2023 aimed at expanding the privileges of sport pilots and redefining what light sport aircraft, LSA, can be. Mosaic stands for Modernization of Special Airworthiness Certificates, and it's like the FAA saying, let's make flying a bit more inclusive and a lot more fun. The original light sport category, introduced in 2004, was designed to simplify flying. Sport pilots could fly lightweight, simple aircraft with fewer training hours, as few as 20, and a driver's license in place of a medical certificate. But there were limits, only two seats, a max takeoff weight of 1,320 pounds, and a top speed of 120 knots. That meant iconic planes like the Cessna 172 were off limits. They were too heavy, too complex. Mosaic aims to change that, potentially opening up a whole new world for sport pilots. The big question, can a sport pilot fly a Cessna 172 under Mosaic? Let's cut to the chase. Under the proposed Mosaic rules, yes, a sport pilot could potentially fly a Cessna 172, but there's a catch or two. Mosaic expands the definition of light sport aircraft, increasing the maximum takeoff weight to 3,000 pounds and allowing up to four seats. The Cessna 172, a beloved workhorse of general aviation, typically has a max takeoff weight around 2,550 pounds, fitting snugly within Mosaic's new limits. It's also a four-seat aircraft, which aligns with the updated rules. But here's the twist. While the Cessna 172 fits the weight and seat criteria, Mosaic requires aircraft to meet specific performance and design standards to qualify as light sport. These include a stall speed of 54 knots or less, clean configuration, and a maximum airspeed of 250 knots. Most Cessna 172 models have a stall speed around 47, 50 knots, which is compliant, but they must also be certified under the new light sport standards or grandfathered in under specific conditions. Older 172S, like the 172N or 172P, could potentially be reclassified if manufacturers or owners pursue certification, but that's not guaranteed. Additionally, sport pilots would need specific training endorsements to fly these heavier, more complex aircraft. The FAA isn't just handing out the keys to the sky, pilots must still demonstrate competency. So while the door is open, it's more like a proceed with proper paperwork situation. Why this matters for sport pilots. Sport pilots are the underdogs of aviation, enthusiasts who love flying but don't want the time, cost, or medical hurdles of a private pilot's license. Mosaic is like giving them a turbo boost. With a sport pilot certificate, you can train in just 20 hours, compared to 40 for a private pilot. Use a driver's license as a medical certificate if you haven't been denied an FAA medical, and now potentially fly bigger, more versatile planes. The Cessna 172 is a perfect example. It's stable, forgiving, and widely available at flight schools. Under Mosaic, a sport pilot could train in a 172, fly with up to three passengers, and maybe even take a cross-country trip at night with the right endorsements. It's not just about the plane, it's about the freedom to explore aviation on your terms. The fine print, what's holding it back? As exciting as Mosaic sounds, it's not a done deal. The proposal is still in the rulemaking process, with a comment period that closed in October 2023. The FAA is reviewing feedback, and the final rule might not take effect until mid-2025 or later. Even then, implementation could take time as manufacturers certify or recertify aircraft to meet the new LSA standards. There's also the question of training. 
Flying a Cessna 172 is a step up from a lightweight LSA like a Technum or flight design. Sport pilots will need additional instruction to handle the increased weight, complexity, and potential for night or instrument flying. Flight schools will need to adapt and instructors will need to be ready to teach these expanded privileges. And let's not forget the cost. While Mosaic aims to make flying more accessible, bigger planes mean bigger price tags for maintenance, fuel, and insurance. A Cessna 172 isn't a budget ultralight, so sport pilots will need to weigh the financial side of their newfound freedom. The fun part, what could you do with Mosaic? Picture this, you're a sport pilot, fresh from training, climbing into a Cessna 172 with your best friend and a couple of family members. You take off from a small airport, the sun setting on the horizon, and you're cleared for a night flight thanks to your shiny new endorsement. You cruise over rolling hills, maybe even do a touch and go at a nearby airfield, all while staying within the sport pilot's relaxed medical requirements. That's the Mosaic dream. Or maybe you're eyeing a modern four-seat LSA designed under Mosaic's rules with sleek avionics and fuel-efficient engines. You could fly to a coastal getaway, land at a small strip, and have dinner by the beach, all without needing a private pilot's license. It's aviation made approachable, exciting, and downright fun. Challenges and community buzz. The aviation community is buzzing about Mosaic, and for good reason. On platforms like X, pilots and enthusiasts are sharing their excitement, but there's also debate. Some worry that expanding sport pilot privileges could lead to safety issues if training isn't robust enough. Others argue that the increased weight and seat limits blur the line between sport and private pilots, potentially confusing regulations. Manufacturers are thrilled though. Companies like Cessna, Piper, and even newer players could see a surge in demand for Mosaic compliant aircraft. Flight schools are gearing up too, anticipating more students eager to fly bigger planes with less red tape. Looking ahead, the sky's the limit. Mosaic is a bold step toward making aviation more inclusive, but it's not without hurdles. The FAA's final rule will determine how many of these proposed changes become reality, and the timeline remains uncertain. Still, the prospect of sport pilots flying a Cessna 172 or similar aircraft is tantalizingly close. For now, aspiring pilots can prepare by getting their sport pilot certificate, staying updated on Mosaic's progress, and maybe even chatting with local flight schools about what's coming. The skies are about to get a lot busier and a lot more exciting. Join the aviation adventure. So can a sport pilot really fly a Cessna 172 under Mosaic? The answer is a hopeful yes, with the right training, certifications, and a sprinkle of patience while the FAA finalizes the rules. Aviation is on the cusp of a revolution and Mosaic is leading the charge. If this got your wings flapping, like and subscribe for more updates on flying, Mosaic, and all things aviation. Share your thoughts in the comments. Would you take a 172 up as a sport pilot? Let's keep the conversation soaring.